10 seconds 5 seconds start madam i draw the attention of the government to an alarming press report appearing in a section of the press that the textile ministry has recently decided to abolish the statutory minimum price for raw jute from the next season madam there is a difference between the statutory minimum price and the minimum price if a statutory minimum price is announced there is an obligation on the part of the government to enforce that price but if a minimum price is announced there is no such obligation government it seems has come to the conclusion that there is no necessity to enforce a statutory minimum price for raw jute which is an important crop in the eastern region of the country this year the price for raw jute was a little better because the market had looked up and there were certain ominous developments in the bangladesh economy there was also boosting up of international demand madam you might remember that over the last several years the price of raw jute in the open market had declined enormously even after the jute corporation of india purchasing a part of the crop and the government taking some steps the 40 lakh jute growers of eastern india could not be protected there is distress sale on a very large scale in a situation like this if the enactment of statutory minimum price for raw jute is withdrawn it means there will be no marketing operations by the government government will be under no obligation to protect the jute growers the jute corporation of india will not be purchasing jute to push up its price it means that the jute growers will be left absolutely to the sweet will of the hungry wolves who now constitute the jute industry of our state and of this country as you know jute industry is the most delinquent industry it had offended the law had not paid the statutory payments and had even retrenched on a very large scale the workers of this country therefore if there is no obligation on the part of the government to purchase raw jute if the market price dwindles down to statutory minimum it means that there is no going to be any marketing operation there is not going to be any jute purchase by the jute corporation of india and there is not going to be any state intervention madam deputy chairman i wish to draw your attention and through you the attention of the government to a serious news which came out in the press on 18th march in the calcutta edition of the economic times it says that the cycle corporation and the national bicycle corporation of india limited may close down these two companies have their factories located in west bengal and in mumbai not only are these two corporation to be closed down but according to that press report there are five companies public sector companies which are proposed to be closed down madam what is the policy of the government as we come across from the report some months ago about 3 years ago a group of ministers had decided that it would be necessary to wind up some of the perennially losing public sector enterprises what is meant by this perennially losing since the take over of the cycle corporation of india limited the government did not apply its mind to rehabilitate these industries to cure it of its sickness against those who are responsible for its sickness those who were the private owners the government did not take any action before the nationalization the cycle corporation of india was under the charge of the central government it was then under the industrial reconstruction corporation of india for these long years the government did not take any action i know workers had entered into an agreement with the company to produce 1000 cycles per day but in 1975 under the cover of emergency and the terror that was let loose in west bengal the trade union was suppressed and an agreement to produce 2000 cycles was clamped on the workers 
some workers had voluntarily retired. Even after these 12 years, a decade almost has passed by, but no action has been taken by the government to improve this situation. The workers are facing with losing their jobs. How does the mind of the government act? As we have seen, a part of the company was transferred to Hindustan Cables Limited without entering into any deed of transfer, without entering into any agreement on what the price will be, what the cost will be of that transfer. What I say is that this proposal should be abandoned. The factories proposed to be privatized should be kept in the public sector.